Thank you, Tony. Turning now to the pension settlement in Rhode Island that affects every taxpayer. Today is the first hearing for the Senate Finance Committee to consider approving the terms of the settlement, which could resolve years of wrangling over the state's pension system overhaul. And several members of the public testified today. All but one were for the deal that was reached earlier this year. Target 12 investigator Tim White was at today's hearing. He's live in Providence with the latest developments. This is a rare Monday hearing for the Senate Finance Committee, and that's because it is the first time that lawmakers have officially, anyway, tackled the pension reform settlement that was reached earlier this year. Nearly four years after a sweeping pension reform law was passed, legislators are back at it again. Senate Finance Chairman Daniel DuPont. It's obviously a busy time of year with the budget and the uh, end of session uh, nearing. And so we wanted to uh, have this hearing on a day where there was not much else uh, going on so we could give it obviously its due. In April, a tentative settlement to end a union lawsuit against the 2011 pension overhaul was reached. It saves taxpayers roughly $4 billion by reducing state worker retirement benefits. At the hearing, General Treasurer Seth Magaziner urged lawmakers to accept the settlement so Rhode Island can move on. A good deal is one where everybody walks away feeling like they didn't get everything they wanted, but they also walk away feeling like they got something. And by that measure, this is a good deal. Do you agree with him? I don't. State employee Elizabeth Del Padre says this deal is bad for workers nearing retirement. I, as an attorney, believe that settlements work. Uh, but this settlement, I feel, is substantively unfair. The settlement is expected to get judicial approval later this month. Soon it'll be the other side's turn here at the State House. The House Finance Committee will hear details on the settlement on Wednesday. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Tim White, Eyewitness News.